back to Where the Keys at podcast. We're back in the studio again. My name is Eli. My boy Tezza too. And we've got a special guest in the house sitting over there next to you, man. Ash, introduce yourself. I'm Amy. Um, and I'm very excited to be here today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Sunday. I'm like, excited. Never put on makeup on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice to have someone, uh, someone fresh on the show. Yeah. Um, Get time you know, about a new perspective of things. Mm-hmm. A female, which is <laughs> exactly always that. good. Uh, something that we've been crying out for for a while. Women are scared to come on this podcast. Yeah, it's quite male centric. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> is it quite I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> we are, like, we always we get loads of feedback from women, but they never want to come on. And for we real? every show yeah. we invite them. Don't we? Yeah, After yeah. every show, we always say, "Come on, come on." It'd be good to kind of have that challenge, and also just to hear it from. Your side, you know? The two ladies that we've uh, had on before as well. We have three women on. Yeah. yeah. Three seasons deep, Just three women. Insane. So What, one a season? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what an average. Uh, we're about to go to season four as well, <laughs> yeah. so we're nearly there. Okay, so today what I want to talk about, really, just catching up with Amy, and it's kind of crazy the way we reconnected because we were talking a year ago about doing this, and Amy's background is really interesting. She works in fashion, and so I really wanted to link a lot of the stuff that we talk about culturally with to fashion as well so I dressed for the occasion I put my best garments on as you can see oh yeah 10 out of 10 so I think it's quite (laughs) I think it'll be quite interesting to talk from that perspective because as a my age man I've never really been into fashion and clothing and thinking about its influence and impact on how we're perceived so I wanted to start with the lazy (laughs) Ngozi Fulani and what happened um, where was she she was at a a community event or a charity event you guys all seen the story Yep, yep yep and since this woman has been sacked what do you guys think of that well I don't know if she's been sacked. They didn't say she'd been sacked. Oh, she's not got a job no more, though, right? No, she left voluntarily, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's one of the things that you go yeah. or you push. You yeah. push or you jump. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. She's probably somewhere in the background, though. But she was asked, where are you from? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which I think is a obviously a really loaded question mm-hmm. when you live life in a racialised body. But she was asked and she answered and she say said, in a racialised body. What do you mean? Well, in a black body a, bo- a non-white body it's a racialized how i would describe it in like my research or whatever yeah would be you know i'm i'm trying always trying to find new ways to say the yeah. same things so <laughs> yeah, yeah so that's one of the ways that i do it um but she answered and she said she was um british she said i think she I think she said whereabouts in london she was from and then the woman Actually, yeah. carried on pressing no where are you from then she said the organization that she was from Mm. and then the woman kept saying this you know we've all been there yeah and she touched her hair that was the thing that's the first thing she done so the first first thing she done is she she said she was standing with two friends and they were talking Mm -hmm. and this aide walked up to her and she grabbed her hair but she moved her out of the way to read her name badge Oh. But she didn't even have a conversation with her. She just went up to her and just pulled her out of the side yeah. to see what her name was. That's almost like saying, like, this is my space. Who are you in my space? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. like, who does that? Like, especially not even saying, like, I know as black people, especially females, you constantly get people touching your hair, don't you? Like, mm. I know you must get that quite a bit because my daughter gets, she gets, when she has her hair out, it's all curly and fluffy and that. Oh, look at your hair. That touch. When you business. have to have plaques. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, or they look at your hair because mm. they're fascinated by yeah. it. But that wasn't even... Uh, uh, any interaction it was literally move your hair yeah. and what like that's crazy do you know what though we had this conversation the other day me and Ash mm-hmm. and I don't when I first heard this story this woman was asked who where she's from I was kind of like ain't that a great opportunity to, to school someone on your heritage even if I don't know because this woman said she don't know that's a, con- that's a good conversation starter to educate someone about where you're from yeah. that's what I initially thought you don't agree. <laughs> I yeah. don't agree. But, no, no. <laughs> no, but what, an, no, what answer do you want? What answer do you want? What, it, like, what, 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 what do you want? Because this woman answered that three or four times, and each time she kind of broke it down. Like, what do you want? I'm from, you know, so what, did she want like I'm, from, you know, I'm from, I'm some from sub-Saharan Africa. I'm from, you know, the, the cradle of humanity. Is that yeah. what she wanted? I felt like that's where, you know, if you keep asking, and these are microaggressions as well. Let's not forget these are, you know, these are. This is quite a painful situation. It's quite traumatic for a lot of people. This is taking place in Buckingham Palace, which is like the seat of colonialism. Yeah. And we want to be, you know, and we're pushing it. It's like, what answer are you satisfied with? It's it's putting a response. It's putting a responsibility on the other person that they might not be. Ne- they might not necessarily want to or be willing to bear. Mm. It's quite. It's 
it's it's an assertion of power, I think, from the person that's asking the question is. and is putting you in a position that you might not want to be in. Yeah. And I think for me, there, you know, there wasn't any interaction prior to this. Um, Someone's always late to the pod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're still going. Quick, come join, Raymond. Come, come join the conversation. All right. So, T, what are you saying? Yeah, so for me, there was no interaction there. And it's like, when you start getting to those kind of deep questions, you've you've already built up some sort of rapport. And I think the way that she came across is like, where are you from? Where are you from? That indicates that she was... Challenging her. Challenging her. Because most people, like, when I have a conversation with people, they go, where are you from? So, yeah, I'm from Brit- you know, I'm British or whatever. And then they go, so what's your heritage? That's a, that's a conversation. That's a conversation you, that's did, fine. you turn around and have. And you, go, and you say, okay, well, my dad's Jamaican or from the Caribbean or whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? Because people always ask me that question, like, mm. oh, you know, where's your heritage? And that, you know. And I say, okay, well, my dad's from Neva St. Kitts. My mum's from Antigua. You know, and they go, oh, yeah, you know, these places and, and whatever. But she did not come correct or come with that agenda. She came there and. She, it's like she was trying to be little there, in my opinion. Yeah. I think also to keep asking, where are you from? There's questions about whether that dispossesses the person from their Britishness. Yeah. Mm. Which we we all are we all are British like yeah. right we we were we all, we were all yeah. born we here okay but you're dispos- <laughs> like you're dispossessing me with that question you're taking that away it's like it's 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 I think the conversations that came out of it afterwards were quite disappointing because it was like is she British or not was the woman wrong because she was old or not. Those oh. kinds of qu- those kind of questions, but mm. I don't feel like you're actually asking like the real root questions of like how quick and easy people are to dispossess black people. And let's not forget that like a lot of people from Caribbean her- heritage were yep. asked to come here, yep. and yet you're still made to feel like a stranger or a other. And mm. and interactions like that. But especially playing out, like I said, in like the seat of colonialism, like yeah. the embodiment yeah. of it, like literally that must the have been physical intimi- quite intimidating embodiment of it. Anyway. Yeah. Is she was probably, she was, and the thing is, though, she was a minority already in that room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was probably only one of a handful of black people in that room. Because when you see the sure. interview and you see, or you see people, that woman around there, there weren't many there. No. As black people, we get judged like that all the time. Like, we, we went on holiday like a couple of weeks back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh, we, yeah, so we flew yeah. out, I'm, come I'm out to the UK, right now. walking through, do you know you've got your immigration bit and you're going through the like, security weather, you walk through the British bit or foreign from me. I walked to the British bit, lady went, oh, 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 And she called me and I was going around, she went, me, 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 yeah, me, yeah. She went, oh, 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 you know what? What? And I figured, right, what have you done? Well, she went, not that cute, that cute. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, what do you mean? She went, that's for British people. I am British. What does it matter? Why are you telling me, like, you don't know what passport I've got, so yeah, why are you even yeah. assuming I'm not British? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. my point. Yeah. My point is not, like, it's not like I was standing there like, oh, where do I go? Mm. I stood in that queue and you're telling me I shouldn't be in that queue. How do you know I'm not in that queue? Because of my skin colour. That is the exact on, reason on the why this, she though, challenged yeah. me. But I think yeah, we have on. a, we have a, <coughs> I think we're split. We're obviously, we're not all the same. We are a community mm. of people with different experiences. Yeah? Mm. Not even in this room, we're all the same. Yeah. Mm. But I do think we're quick to, as British, black British people, we, we click to cling to the British part more than we are the African part. That's why a lot of, even the woman, I was disappointed when she said, do you know what I mean? We'll talk about dress and fashion in a minute, yeah? And the way she wear her hair and the way she represent herself and what she's doing as a job. But she doesn't know where she's from. So she hasn't looked she into her She even clearly said that as well. She said, I haven't, I, she said I haven't looked yet. And, and, and I think that's, that's a big issue. Like, we're ta- are we taking offence to being asked where we're from because we're a bit embarrassed that we don't know where we're from I mean, yet. this happened to me. That, well, that thing that happened to that woman happened to me. Really? I got, yeah, I got asked, where are you from? I'm from here, I'm British, I was born here. No, but where are you from? This is where I'm from. No, but where is your dad from? Mm-hmm. My dad was born, my dad was born in Jamaica, he's been over here since he was eight. Okay, <laughs> what about your mum? My mum's from here. But where's your mum from? She's from here. So the thing is, I didn't take no offense to it because yeah, it's, it's, it's a, just, it's, 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 it's a to me, it's a, that's that's just general you conversation you have. Mm. I had that from when I first come here. Like you know, mm. you, people ask me where you from, mm. and I'll say from Jamaica, but I live here now. Even even to this day, they still ask me that. I don't see that's not that the part there is not. I don't find that Obviously. offensive. Yeah, mm. context though. Yeah, context. it's the context. Yeah, yeah. so it yeah. all depends on the context. But watch from me watching that video, mm-hmm. I can see the context. It's 
change. Yeah. Then mm. that change. completely change because exactly. once no you watch a video, hair like you can't pull hair. someone's hair. You know yeah. that that's yeah, nah, a black person can't touch another nah. black person's hair nah. without them because yeah. you got you're gonna get that same look. Come on, yeah. bro, what are yeah, you doing? Exactly. Like, exactly. do you know what I mean? Like, you're yeah. still gonna have that same. But that's the, but I want it. She was pushing. Mm. That was that was my thing. Like, she already gave you an answer. Yeah. Why are you pushing? She said she said she was British. Yeah. But then you're still push it after that. Mm. She was born in. She, she told you she was born here. And you're all gonna hate like. me for this, but look, you seen the woman, right? How she presented herself yeah. was saying, "Yo, I, I ain't am, like you. Yeah. I am not trying to blend in. I am not trying to um, emulate what you're doing." So someone's gonna come up to you and say, "Yo, you look different. <coughs> Where are you from?" Yeah, but Eli, that's not. That's that's like but that's that's the so same do you as agree like with the hair bit, though, Eli. No, no, but Ray, Ray. Because when you say about hating, I think when you say it's okay. But so no. because she's dressed that way, it's no different to like when they arrest kids because they're wearing a hoodie and then claim they're gang, oh, member. they're gang members. You know what I mean? It's the same. It's in. It's in that sense. It's the same way. You can't be judging someone because of the way they dress. Someone should be able to dress how no, they want to dress. Like your dress is an invitation. Nah, I'm, it I'm is. not it's, having this that. Is man. Like, it's, so it's, I, okay. would you agree that fashion is all about who you feel that you are, how you want to represent yourself? Not culturally. No, not, not culturally. culturally. Well, 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 in some, it yeah, we, 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 have to, we have to, I don't, I don't we wear, have to, like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't think it is. I don't think, I, I don't yeah. think, I don't, I don't think that I wear anything that makes me stand out of what culture I'm from. I see white people wearing tracksuits, white people wearing jeans. Yeah, 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 but in, people, that, in that whatever, sense, in that sense, in that so sense. But when you're, different, it's different if you're all. If it's red, gold, and green, and you're busting, and you're busting your clerks, and you're busting all your all your bees, and you and you because that's different because you're you're trying to stand out to say this is what I am. Yeah. I am I am Jamaican. Or I am African. So what now? I can't come out to and go, yo, that's interesting. Where are you from? I just say that. But just to go back to what you was just to speak to what you were saying at the beginning. Yeah. When we're talking about fashion and dress mm. and style, yeah. Mm. So we're talking about. Co- Carol Tullock, she writes about black style. She yeah. calls those three things a triumvirate. And she yeah. says that they can't, they shouldn't really be um, addressed separately. They function together, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but when we're talking about dress, you would normally, normally like studies of dress, they come from quite an anthropological perspective. So when w- dress is actually defined, it involves the cultural, it involves, it involves the practices of getting dressed. Right. So when we're talking about dress, it's not necessarily just the clothes that are on us. It's also the fact that we've creamed our skin or put whatever in our yeah. hair or chosen to have a tattoo or stuff. You know, there's yeah, different yeah. kinds of things that we mm. do that actually are classed as dress. So, I mean, I think that you probably do assimilate with a particular part of black culture. Personally, I would say that you, you do assimilate yourself with a particular part of black culture through the way that you dress in terms of the garments that you have on Mm -hmm. but in terms of your practices in the morning i would bet some of them that are are unique black cultural practices 100 percent, 100 percent. i don't know man i just think the way that they the way that she's come at her because elo's thinking the way she elo's mentality the way that she's dressed her dreads and what she's wearing that's what she came out like she deserved it we're reading how she dress what she chose to wear as mm. being like the assertion like that's the person like but well yeah i do but that's the person who's like really you know they're really asserting themselves we are not interrogating how the other person came at it mm. like the the person who is the actant in this situation is you know, <coughs> we're we're just kind of assuming and and going off of it being and gazi Fulani and not the yeah, other, she's the victim not the, like, not the should, other yeah. women we're so, we're almost mm. saying that that's kind of not uh, not not the way she was dressed was aggressive but it was assertive right but we are not reading like the violence of the other side of what the other lady was doing which i think was the way more violent I aggressive think our expectations the are too high of these people like what did you expect them to do mm. like our expectations are like they're not they're not there where we want them to be yet yeah especially in that place what did you expect they're going to come and they're going to talk down to you they're going to do this that's just how they are but is it right though no but what did you expect I'm with you on you that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I, like, hear that. I hear that. Any different. I don't know why we're all acting surprised. I'm not surprised. No, I'm, not really surpri- not. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. It's been going are. on for for centuries. And like, I, I, after that clip, actually, another clip came up. And that's the Piers Morgan thing about Meghan Markle, right? Oh, God. And, but that was, <laughs> but that, was, that was quite funny because this girl was going in at him. But he turned around and said, she said, yeah, but people understand it because she's the first, you know, girl of, of heritage in the royal family. Mm. And, 
right? We know that. We know that. Right? We know that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I realise the level you mean on. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. took it a different way. Yeah. 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 But then, but then, oh, you brought it. Yeah, black. No, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. But then, Cheer, but then, Piers went. What do you expect, man? Like the royal family is white. So what do you expect? They're gonna challenge it because it's something new to them. Have you watched the documentary? I have. I, 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 I've watched this three episodes. I have only watched two though. I have. I watched, I watched all three. Yeah. I watched all three. Watch three. Yeah. I watched three. Yeah. I've only watched two. Watch, man. Mm. I saw the clips, the highlights, but I, the clip that stood out to me that was right circling is when she said she didn't know she was black until she came to the UK, which I thought was an interesting statement because mm. you, you know you're black in America, don't you? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So that, that, I, didn't, I didn't understand where, that. Especially where she lived. Yeah. And did she grow up with her mum? Where yeah, she, where, yeah, she, yeah. Up with she, she was no. She what she said was she's never been Can treated highlight. like a black woman, <laughs> black, black woman. and I find that I mean that's like, and so until something was negative, you'd never been treated right. like a black. Is, are there yeah, no ways to positively be yeah. treated yeah. like a black woman? Yeah. Is there no? Yeah. Don't tell me no play with her hair. I'm not. I'm not, <laughs> saying, I'm not <laughs> saying that there's not any like tricky sides to the coin, but I'm. I just. I find. I found that so loaded that she said that. Like I never. Like she, you know, she didn't identify with it until it was like. Mm. Yeah. Pain. Maybe yeah. she just didn't understand. It, like, but but, under oh, no, but, then, so but she's in passing basically. But, yeah, yeah. Why basically, she was cool yeah. with that. Yeah, she was passing. Yeah, because even uh, even with, even away. in that documentary, like our uh, manager was saying, <coughs> <coughs> when he met her, he thought she was yeah white. And when he found out, when he found yeah. that she was, he started casting her for black roles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we thought that she yeah. 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 black yeah. roles. That's what he said on there, literally. Yeah. Yeah. That is exactly yeah. how yeah. Yeah. he said it as well. When he found out she was, started casting her for black roles. That is a problem. And people look at her like, is she actually black? <laughs> yeah, so maybe she, she through that old time, she just passed as that. Well, and our mum said, our mum did say like, look, maybe it's my fault I didn't educate her from from her side of it she didn't need to she didn't, she didn't need to go through that nah. and until also now. I think so her mum shielded her from that as yeah. well because she's very close to her dad her dad was white mm. she but went it, to she went to like drama school dance school like 2 to 12 or whatever yeah. it was and straight that was all white people all straight A stuff, student yeah. the career she the career path she followed predominantly everyone she worked with was white like it was like it was she never you, you never really saw in but any of the photos there was any heritage I, I, I know, just like, I, I just think not like, like it's not like shh don't tell us uh, yeah no, I just no, yeah. No, 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 but I just think no, like, but all her aunties <laughs> all her family members because she moved to what, what I don't understand she she would have had to seen this you know because she would have been around her family because her mum moved when she was two years old yeah but to, mom was to, her sister and friends exactly her sisters aunties and so on like that they're all there that, ash, so that ash, you have ash, black this ash, black ash, fat from my mum's side it's all black, so yeah, but, yeah, but you would have been that around that. Nah, you would have nah, nah, heard nah. that talk. You would have heard that undertone. You would have heard all of it. I don't think she would have. She because would have, man. I, tell you what, I, just, right? I just think I'll she's I'll not tell, saying I'll it. tell you why, because her mum is full black, uh, I'm assuming, because of the colour of her skin. I don't yeah. know who she is. So I don't I know who her grandparents are. But her mum <laughs> didn't seem like she was the person who would educate her, who embraced her culture. But now people are highlighting it. The British public are highlighting it. And they've highlighted it. And now yeah, she's but straight I, now she should. But I mean, yeah, spoiler alert, cool. my mum's white. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I grew up like in the real countryside mm -hmm. and it wasn't um, the greatest time of my life I won't lie to you mm -hmm. but I will say that that is the reason that I am as militant as I am today yeah. it didn't it didn't it didn't work the way that it worked for you know Meg yeah. it it did the it did the exact opposite yeah. to me do you know yeah. what I mean and it's and it's always made me um it's not like I'm just trying to prove or assimilate or like, you know, prove or justify or whatever, but it's just always made me want to like understand. And like, that's definitely why mm. I like my research is all about what it's all about. A hundred percent. Megan had the opportunity to get away with it. Like, you can't, I can see you mm -hmm. and you're not white, but I can see how people yeah. would look at her and think, not think that she's not white, especially in America. They, they probably just think she's because white. Because you got to think in slavery pass. as well. You can't pass for white. No, that's true. And I think she could pass for white. And so she she just took advantage of, in America, so segregated as well. There's probably better opportunities for her. She was, there's probably times when she didn't really want to identify as black. It's like she avoided that. But side also of the fact you've never had to have like conversations about your race and your identity. Mm. Yeah. I, the, when I also was thinking about it, I was like, yeah. you only date white men. 
Was she? Yeah. 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 And, and that's what I'm saying. I think she. Because there, there's it's not it's not just your mum and your family that you're that's, not talking yeah, to about. Your that's partner. your circle. Yep. Yeah. That's your man. Yep. Exactly. Do you know that. what I mean? Yep. That's your colleagues. Yep. That's a that's a. All our that, friends on the on that documentary is white. Everyone. Not one everybody. Black, not one blank friend. Everybody. And that's what I'm saying. She will draw for one. That's for me. And that's what I think <laughs> is that's that's what I find bizarre. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with taking your like maybe her, like I said, maybe her mum thought, you know what, we live in whatever because they they can talk about Compton Crenshaw, she's born in Crenshaw, but they can say she's Compton, she, she was gangster, Compton, she was yeah. this, she was that. <laughs> she was around them areas. She was around the areas, but she didn't live in the ghetto like, like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, 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 come yeah. on, bro. <laughs> like, about Hollywood and I'm always cussing about black representation in movies. It's getting better now, but the types of black actors and actresses we get. And you just said that her manager said, well, let's put you for black roles now. Mm. Yeah. But w- why? Because she's her portrayal of the black experience is going to be terrible, surely. Because she's right. never she had one. Yeah, yeah. But they're like, money, 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 money. You're approachable, money. you'll pass, money. we can get you through. She's more versatile, man. And that's how time, much like, do we see on screen If you're all the time. an actress, then you can play that role. Yeah. It's a script. Yeah, that's, that's what yeah I mean, she's meant to be able to be yeah. like Russian, you know. Yeah. Well, you're meant to be able to, you know, act, isn't uh, it? Go and ask Russian worth, people how they're portraying if you're themselves. Worth, if you're well. worth your money. <laughs> they don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course they're probably They don't right. like it. But then I saw a thing the other day when they were saying, you know, the you know, um, the guy who did um, blackish, grownish mixed. Yeah, yeah. He is mixed race, and they were saying that he has got a light skin fetish, and everything that he makes because he's just made a new film with, I think, Eddie Murphy and yeah, possibly see, yeah. Nia Long. Nia Long, yeah, yeah. Nia Long. Called? and their daughter is uh, who's oh, their daughter? Yeah, okay. but, but, um, but it revolves around and um, Seth, um, Seth Ro- Rogen. Seth Rogen. 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 But it, yeah. it revolves okay. very much around this like interracial relationship, like mixed race mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. And they were saying that as a director, he should be kind of exploring other examples of blackness. Mm. But I don't actually this, think I agree. Yeah. I think you know what you know. And I get, guess what? If you start trying to represent, you know, mm-hmm. like a, another experience yeah. that you don't know anything about, then you're going to get it wrong. Like, speak to what you know. It's because they'd rather have one black person doing the whole black experience mm. than having 10 black people. But it's not the experience. man who's making so. the material and the programs. It's You need to ask why the studios are only picking up things that... Mm. possibly a, a more it's more comfortable for them isn't exactly it? yeah but i think we're conditioned to see certain types of black people on the screen still and even as black people when we see it we're not ready for it still and as americans you know black yeah. americans because they hate a lot of the movies that's coming out now because there's a lot of british actors and actresses who've been cast for these roles and they're like why why are we not playing our own roles why are mm. we not like finding our own people not looking at the fact that you know it's a black person who's playing this, the screen. It's about it's not black and American. Yeah, yeah, but it's the same. But, but Americans do the same. Americans yeah. look at Cool Runnings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like let's just just take that for and like I common. Like, 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 no, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. No, I think there's yeah. maybe one, the dad or something like that. One person in there that's yeah. actual Jamaican, yeah. and the rest is bloody. Yeah. yeah. How did you feel as Jamaican watching Cool Runnings? Did you feel like that was just taking the mick out? Of you? Yeah, I felt that. Because we didn't, did we? <laughs> That's we loved it. Before I was like, yes, Jamaicans. And I never for one second thought there was no Jamaicans yeah, in this movie. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There wasn't until I saw it. Like, I'll tell you the Jamaica film. Watching it, no. Yeah, I, the film that I saw, I thought, oh, yes, they got it right, was... Yeah. Shotters. Shot Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that yeah, yeah that's yeah, those, yeah. that's yeah. a film that I think, yes. Yeah. Like they had actual Jamaicans in it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, yeah. even Jamaican artists in it, you know? Yeah. So they had they had oh yeah, that was Third good. World Cop was alright. Third World Cop was good. What about yeah. um Dancer Queen? Dancer Dance Queen. Queen. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, so yeah, these yeah, sure. these are all films that, yeah. that actually show you Jamaica and Jamaican. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the actual tone and yeah. the, the way they say stuff everything the but that's part. the 90s and the 90s got a lot of things wrong so I think we yeah, can condemn sure. we can condemn sure. that but then I think now with representation like do you have to there's a lot of pressure because it's like the it's like the, you know the one film the one this the one designer the one mm. presenter the mm. one this that has to embody blackness yep which you can't. But you can't because right. even then is the generalisation is saying it's a homogenous experience, which it absolutely isn't. But, mm-hmm. it, you know, we criticise these things and I don't know, I think that we could all stand 
I mean, I and I also love criticizing things. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but um, I think we could all stand to maybe be like a drop more kind in it as well, because we, you know, this is meant to exemplify everything, and it can't. It's not possible. We don't yeah. ask that of white expressive culture. No, not at all. Yeah. We do criticize ourselves a lot, don't yeah. we? Yeah, we do. We yeah. do put ourselves down do. and put ourselves in. Want to keep us in the same box? I do like, it here, don't I? With yeah. the movies, I'm like, yo, I ain't watching that. that yeah, yeah. Do that with yeah. The yeah. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. I can't does see another black man do yeah. 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 Yeah we can't necessarily control, especially that industry, and make mm. those decisions mm. straight away. And mm. we have to grow and be able to branch out and develop our Do own. Do you think it would ever I happen? I guess, and have more of a say. It's happening with Tyler Perry and yeah, things like that in America. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah. happening in, you know, mm. 20 years' time, who knows? I ah. think we forget as well, like, how new the spotlight is. Mm. Do you know what I mean? This is so recent. And a lot of, you know, if you if you really want to look at it, like, if, if you were to take the statistics of representation before George Floyd and Black Lives Matter and representation now, mm. I think that there's, you know, there's a lot, I mean, last year, for instance, in London alone, every single uh, museum had an exhibition of blackness and they all occurred about 18 months after George Floyd died. Yeah. So it's mm. like a knee-jerk reaction, like, quick, put on something is. black. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But, but, you know, it's being asked to do a lot. This, this, this spotlight is new. We need to be asking, I think that when we're looking at and we're reading into black expressive culture, we've got to be looking at who are the voices, who are the makers, who's getting paid. These are my three, these are my three main questions when, when this when this stuff's mm -hmm. going on. But I think we have to understand that this is relatively new visibility. Mm -hmm. And even when we say, even if we say new visibility in terms of black expressive culture, even if you're talking in the last 50 years, mm -hmm. in comparison to white expressive culture that is a yeah. relative newness yeah. like there's exciting stuff happening now mm. there is like if you look at especially obviously for me in fashion and in music in like in british music like mm -hmm. the new like the like the kind of um like the jazz stuff like sons of kemet all of that all of that scene that's going on around that is so exciting and so uniquely british yeah. and i'd also say they're kind of borders because it's not that popular it's kind of also borders like on like the last kind of like subculture kind of thing right. um and then also in fashion pm moss nicholas I was ask you this question tell us about some black british designers or lines or anything that's about because it's hard to find these things it's, unless yeah. you're in those circles well, they're, they're not finding us you know well i've just hmm? recently <laughs> i've just Cal recently Cal resolved <laughs> to only um if I'm going to spend money on clothes, I am trying to only buy black designers, okay. which is a new thing. I'm not representing it today at all. But Yeah, no, today I wanted to really represent the Western fashion canon. Um, but... Um, no, I'm trying to only buy... That's where I'm trying to frame my money. So I'm trying not to buy, like, loads and loads of shit. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to buy, like, a couple ex of expensive pieces from black designers. And it's making me feel, let me just tell you, really, really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. Firstly, what it's doing yeah. for my heart and my soul mm -hmm. is amazing. But... Um, in this country, we have Nicholas Daly, who is um, an incredible yeah, menswear designer. I was going to write it now for a lot. He's an incredible <laughs> menswear designer. He... Um, he, I can't, I don't, I can't really say how I describe his stuff, but his collections are incredibly well researched, and they are all come from like black culture. So he did um, a Lee Scratch Perry inspired collection. Wow. He's also mixed race, so his his um, his mum is Scottish. So there's always some tartan, mm -hmm. but like it's just like his stuff is. My family just is African and Scottish. So absolutely, like yeah. Mom. So you, <laughs> <laughs> um, Grace Wells Bonner is um another amazing designer menswear again um she is she's again i think what's really interesting with all of these designers is they're really well researched mm -hmm. their collections are supported by like literature theory and 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 understanding do you know what i mean it's not about making something new it's about presenting black identities in these really amazing ways so grace wells bonner um 
she kind of plays with the idea of what it is to be masculine, what masculinity looks like. Um, so her stuff's really interesting. And then in America, for me, Pierre Moss, um, which is designed by Kirby John Raymond, he did a Reebok collection. Oh, He's yeah. actually on his fourth and final Reebok collection now. Um, but what Pierre Moss does is, like, I just think it's it's just gorgeous. Like this couture, ex like couture... Um, collection that he did was all he was the first black designer in the couture syndicate what's couture so couture is made so i had to ask couture is made in an atelier in france it ha it's the highest oh, it's, it's no yeah. no no it's the highest form of fashion, fashion. So it's right. like fashion handmade it's, cu it's custom okay. and out yeah. a couture it's outfit is like eighty thousand, yeah. like easily <clears throat> um but he did this couture collection and every single uh, outfit was inspired by an invention made by a black designer so there's like an outfit inspired by like the super soaker the gas mask the traffic nice. light yeah. like it was just oh. like That's he's it. really yeah. cool this stuff sounds expensive, expensive man. That's yeah. what I, was to say, you know, I mean that was couture <laughs> so no one no one buys couture couture oh. doesn't make any money but yeah his really? Reebok collections I'm like the I was on the waiting list it was gone within like 10 minutes mm. wow what clothes or trainers just Both. Both. Okay. Both. Wow. Let's look like look at what happened with the Black Panther movie, yeah? They I remember at that time trying to buy merch for my son and it didn't exist. Mm. It wasn't in the shop because they yeah. didn't think it was gonna get the reception they did. Mm -hmm. Right? They were really surprised yeah. how you know, black dollars, black pounds can are, are valuable. That was, that was a shock. That was a shock. So I think in fashion it's kind of the same thing. Mm. Yeah, you might. I mean, maybe you have to do a little bit of legwork. I mean, also, who wants to buy shit in JD? Let, let's not all look the same. Mm. Um, that's what I say. <laughs> so mm. we you know, we're shopping online anyway, just because yeah. you can't buy it in, you know. Um, and that's the thing. I think, and I've said this for a while. I think the high street will die out soon, where everyone's going to be forced to buy it online anyway. So mm. it's just about doing some research and looking. Mm. When I show you like the prices tonight, you're like, oh, <laughs> nope. I'm but not. also, <laughs> but you know, I think no, I'm a vest, man. I bought, um, in fact, I bought uh, some clothes from Jerome the Chef. We all know Jerome, right? Yeah, yeah. He's got his own line of clothes he started doing. I bought his hoodie the other day to wear on the show because I wanted to promote some black designers, but that was too small. I was going to give it to Ashworth. <laughs> 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 I, I knew I said it back, but anyway, I gave it to my son because I fit him as well. So. <laughs> but that's the thing as well. Like, um, there's a lot of smaller brands. Like, if your friends are making something, if your yeah. cousins, but obviously, like, don't worry if it's trash. No one, like, don't don't do that. But um, like, like if we actually start supporting, like, this is one of the things that I genuinely believe that fashion is a very um, valuable black economy, mm. and the fact that we don't have many black designers is a question and I think that if you ask how the lack of black designers functions then it um it it was a deliberate restriction I personally believe so there's no opportunity for them or they're, they're holding them back yeah well uh black fashion making was like take like it was it, like style and fashion was one of the first things that were taken away from people when they were enslaved yeah. mm -hmm. they took off your clothes yeah. Identity right? just, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. also one of the so there's this story that um when some people were trafficked from Africa and they got to, they got to the Caribbean and they they took all the the Africans, the enslaved Africans off the boat. They were naked, but they all had stars all over their hair, right. and the white the white people were like, "What the fuck is this?" And they'd done it to themselves with bottles and stuff. They'd cut their mm. own hair and they'd cut all these patterns in their hair, and it was about retaining. Yeah, something it was about power and autonomy over yourself and this yeah. is like a, you know it is but i think it's really interesting that we've always felt the need to assert it and white people have always felt the need to remove it or yeah. question it and those are the kind of like that's what has to go on in the discourse around fashion i think yeah mm -hmm. i think hair's an important thing as well hair's a yeah. big one mm -hmm. when you're a younger person yep. like, all of us yeah, yeah. when you're younger mm -hmm. like I want to be as black as I can. That's how I used to, that's how I still feel. But in school, <laughs> in school, I'm like, yo, I'm wearing my hair like this. I want to look like these black people that I've seen before. Yeah. My son's the same. Do you know what I mean? He's yeah. just cut his hair off. But what happens is, as you get older, 
that's kind of like bred out of you almost. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't we are my hair is just normal now for a black mm. person. I'm not trying to that's why I'm still out there, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we don't do that as much as we get older. We kinda right, conform yeah. a bit more because we wanna you know, you don't wanna appear as not aggressive, but I suppose aggressive or outward outwardly black. Uh, yeah, it's a form of expression and identity, but it's also a bit of a form of protest against mm. what else is going around us. You know what I mean? It certainly mm. was for me. You know, I can't lie. I've been about getting dressed, but I saw what the other day. I was like, I'm going to up my hair, man. Yeah. And then I think, I'm going to I'm going to think about it. And I'm but like, but then you think, I'm not going to do it. It's not even that. It's yeah, just yeah, maintaining, it, like maintaining, like getting it done. And it's like, oh, it's man, right, I had, man. Now, what I had years of pain. I think it's the ma- I think ma- the maintenance and the time is what people is yeah. uh, you know like Random one people. of the like one of the reasons that you hear but then I kind of think that that's bullshit. It is, yeah. it is, it is because you maintain. But then it's all, but then it's kind of like saying oh you know can't do, can't spend the money but like you mm. you have just spent money on some other shit. So it's do you know true. what I mean? That it's like true. Yeah. It is true. someone like Eli get his hair cut every week, don't you? No. Have you ever week? <laughs> Shut up, man. You get cut every week, bro. Yeah, no, you know, I've got a stock in my hair cut because I'm starting to receive. Every week, you get cut. If I've got dreads now, my hair would fall out. Bro. <laughs> well, you're keeping it by the market. You don't want to take them out. But that's what I'm saying about it being like part of dress and part of fashion. Like, you think it's just clothes, but. What else do you call the different other ways that we adorn our body that mm. we do? Like, but you do protest, you do resist. Like, the thing is, for us. me, I, I, I sat there when I watched when I watched a documentary. She going to Meg because you just wanted to make him. I'm sitting and I'm thinking, does she actually know her culture and her history, yeah. and is she going to ingrain it into her two children that she has? No, because I cannot see no. them embracing that. No. Is there a point where when you're like, you know? white presenting in ginger where it's like confusing yeah no. we've got to do a whole episode on awkward situations at work we've got to do <laughs> let's do a couple of things so you need to come back for the next episode amy so it's been it's been for wicked sure. having her on right yeah, yeah for sure uh I've, but i think that's it for the episode this week so leave some comments for us share the podcast around on every platform including whatsapp and um if you've got any questions for us make sure you let us know in that comments box there's like two other comments in there just join those two people <laughs> 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 alright where the keys are done we're Peace. out Peace. 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 Peace.